So you thought we were going fishing today? Nah, we're gonna sit around, have a few beers, do some barbecuing, talk about safety. So we went out the uh, about two weeks ago, shot some video footage of us out on the water, and I had my first dump. It was about <laughs> about 52 degrees outside, ambient temperature. Water was about 40 degrees and we were about two miles down a creek. And all I heard was, oh, it's cold. It was cold, extremely cold. So with that being said, we're not going fishing today. We're gonna to talk about some things you need to do before you go out so you make sure that you're prepared while you're out. So the very first thing is to make sure that you have handy dandy PFD. Your handy dandy personal Flotation device. <laughs> this is why we don't do these in front of a live studio audience. That is correct. We do not <laughs> vlog in front of the spouses because we get this kind of treatment the entire time. The, the entire, entire time. time. <laughs> so, the number one thing you need to do is make sure that you have a personal flotation device. That's what saved my butt. We were 15 feet or so about water, nowhere to touch. The creek was moving pretty fast because of all the rain. Make sure you have a personal flotation device. Never been a firm believer of wearing one while I was on a boat. I've grown up fishing my whole life. We've always had them available and ready at hand, uh, but being out on a kayak is a whole different story than if you're out on the boat and you've got several people with you. Um, it was definitely an eye opener for me that day. Uh, so much so that I'm um, probably going to be build, building a project where I'm doing some outriggers for my kayak just because I don't feel like going in the drink like he did. Uh, so a little bit more stability. But I did have my PFD on that day. But it was definitely, definitely a moment that uh, said, oh crap, my homeboy's in trouble. I got to get to him. Second thing. Make sure that you tether down everything that you want to keep. Right now on the bottom of Harmon Creek, I have a brand new fishing pole, a rod, a reel, some tackle, my fishing net, my cast net, and a GoPro. A GoPro mounted on my hat on the bottom of the river. And again, like Amber said, the crap ain't... Uh, you know, we, we are average Joes, we live on a budget. Um, and when you lose equipment like that, it kind of puts the hurt on your pocketbook. Uh, and we'll have to replace those things and we'll have to do it in time. So uh, luckily for Jeremy, I've got several fishing poles. So we've got a backup fishing pole, but nets and so forth and tackle, all that stuff went to the bottom. Um, GoPro cameras, y'all know out there in, YouTube world, they're not cheap, so definitely something that we, we have thought about since then. The third thing is identification. Make sure you get your fishing license, but most important, your driver's license. And you have some identifying marks on your kayak that in case you do go in the drink and you don't come back and they find a kayak, they can have, be able to identify who that is. That Take a buddy with you. Um, he may not be able to save your life but at least at the end of the day somebody will be there to know that to help any way they can um, I had thought about going out a couple of times by myself but after this event uh, it's not worth it to me it's not worth not coming home uh, and not being there for the wife and the kids when, at the end of the day so always take a buddy with you whenever you go if you can and fourth, 
Just make sure that the wife or the significant other or anybody else that'll listen to you knows where you're going, when you're going, and when you should be back. If it's not going to be taking longer than that to get back, then make sure that you don't um, call, you contact them and you let them know, hey, I'm going to be out here a little while longer. Yeah, I sent the wife a text message telling her exactly where we were going to be, what direction down the river we were going to go, what time we were going, and I gave her a specific time frame. Uh, if you haven't heard from us by this time, call me, text me, message me whatever make sure we're all right i mean you guys know how it is you get out there on the water you start having fun you lose track of time uh that way there's just that identifiable check that hey you're still all right <clears throat> the last thing that we could think of mainly is just be safe be smart and don't do anything stupid but if you're out and about having fun just make sure that you're being smart about it um, don't try doing things, especially when you're on your own or with a big group of people. If it's water you're not used to, make sure that you know that uh, not to be really stupid about it. Have fun. Enjoy the sport. Hang tight. We'll see you again on the next episode. Until the next episode, tight lines. I go fly fishing.